I want to show you how to bulk import data into Close. There are three ways to add your data. You can import, add new records. You can update existing records or use a combination of those two. Absurd. Add new and update existing records. You can do any of those actions whether your data is in a CSV or in other cloud app you use. We will look into both options in this video. Use Import2 Wizard to import data into Close. Go to import2.com. Type in your name, email and select the password to sign up. OK, you're in. Here you select the function you want. We start with an import of leads directly from another app. So I select App to App here. Importing is like building a pyramid. It has to follow a specific order. To have top-level objects, basement, to come first. So every next level can rely on and link to the previous one. On the next step, I select the apps to import from and to. I have a long list of apps I have already added to my Import to Wizard account. For the first time, you just press a plus sign and add details of the app you use. I will import Pipedrive organizations as leads in Close, but your leads might be in any other app. Here is a place to select if you want to import, update or upsert. I will use the first option to import new leads. The next step is to match fields between Pipedrive, the app you import from and Close. Select the fields you want to import. It is possible to map custom fields you have in the Source app and in Close. You find them in a drop-down under the Custom Field category. Then you get a preview of all imported leads with direct links to open and verify and close. Now I will quickly show you how you can update contacts with data in other app. I will update close contacts with data in Pipedrive. But you can again select any other CRM or any other app. Here, I will select to update contacts. Then, select how you want the wizard to find contacts to update. The usual way is to find contacts by email. Then select if you want to override the values or not. In my case, I will select to override values in close with values in Pipedrive. I have pre-selected mappings, which you can modify if you wish. Make sure you map the field lead ID to link contact to a lead. Now your import is set up. Click Start Import and Continue. On the next step, you can preview the list of updated contacts. And I also want to show you how you can import tasks and link them to leads and contacts, if you have them in a CSV file. I opened my file with tasks in Google Sheets. Make sure to save it as a CSV before importing. On the wizard dashboard, select CSV Import. Then select Close, Tasks and Upload a CSV with tasks. On the next step, match data between CSV file and close tasks field. Column names appear as a list in a drop-down menu. Map the columns 
fields you want to import. The date is a required field while importing. Make sure to select date format exactly as you have it in your file. To link task to a lead, map the field lead. And to link the task to a contact, map the field contact, both under the category lookup fields. That's it. Your import is set up. Press start import and continue. Again, you get a preview of all imported tasks. Now you have learned to import and update data in close. Subscribe now to our channel not to miss videos about import and export of business data. Let us know in the comments if you have any questions back to us.